Hi everybody. Somebody asked the question in the iClone forum how to make an animated conveyor belt. So we're going to do that now. Primitive shape box. You could use a rounded box also. It might look better, but I'm just going to make this real quick. I'm supposed to be working, but work is boring. Alright, so I'm going to expand our box out a little bit. And by the way, that was R to resize if you're new to iClone to bring up the resize handles. And now what I want to do is apply a little texture to this. So. I've got a little steel folder, not too worried about what this looks like. I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Now I'm going to hit W to make a copy and to move it and then hold the control key. Make a copy there, R to resize again. This is going to be a little cover at the end so it's not real obvious that this is a uh, box that's got an animated texture so it looks we can cover up our uh, little bit of animation here and I'm gonna go down here and change this to make unique so make I want to make sure that's on so wait there Hang on. how did that go off on me okay cuz I hate this when I change it it makes a uh, we'll see what happens all right and for this I just want to use something like this and that doesn't look very good so I want to just adjust the uh, brightness down a little bit. I don't want it to look the same as our stuff, but that's fine, just so it's not a, so bright. And then I'm going to hold the control key down and make a copy. Hit W there. Okay, and that's probably a little too big, but this is just a quick demo. This isn't the important part. The important part is what we're making right now, so we're going to make the belt. So I'm going to hold the control key down again, make one more copy. R to resize, bring this one way down, and I'm gonna, and hopefully it is on make unique. Okay, we've got it now, or I just turned that off, one of the two. And for this, I have a rubber texture, and I'm sorry I can't share these textures with you because I bought them from Deposit Photo. I, have, I get no affiliation or no paid, I don't get paid for this, but I buy 100 images at a time for $100, and it's a pretty good deal. So you can, do, you know. There's my black rubber. Now if we zoom in on this a little bit, it looks a little uh, too, A, we're a little too tall, so I think I want to make our belt go down a little bit. And I also want to, uh, I don't want the belt to go all the way across. The belt's going to be kind of like, something like that, I don't know. And then what I want to do is go to those UV settings again. And this, we're going to make it something like, just to make it a little more, uh, I guess it's like adding sheets to your threads of cotton, you know, for your sheets or something. So, something like that. That's probably fine. Just to give us a little, uh, looks more like a conveyor belt or kind of a grippy, you know, texture. I used to know somebody when I was like, well, my parents' friends when I was a kid sold uh, the belts for those things. You made a lot of money too. But anyway, that was years ago. Now what we're going to do is the animation part. So sorry to do all this, but I was just trying to show you the how part. So I'm going to go to the timeline. So hit F3. I'm going to get rid of all this. I'm going to rename. Let's go to this scene. I'll rename this one to belt just to make it a little more obvious. If I, I can spell belt. Okay. And now on frame zero, and one thing, we'll make sure you have your, we don't need the animation layer. You'll, you'll have a keyframe there automatically on frame zero, but we want to set our texture offset here to point our negative. I think I'll just make this zero because it went too fast a minute ago, but I'll show you both. So I'll go point. This is my second take of the video. I made one practice run before I started recording. So we'll start at 0.99, and then I'll go to the last frame of the scene. And it seems like now you have to go all the way over. It used to just go to it when you went there and move that over. And here I want to set this to positive 1799. And now if you hit play, our little belt will start to move. Now that might be a little fast. I wasn't, you know, on the, you could either increase your scene, you know, to have a larger, longer scene, or you could back at frame zero, instead of starting at point negative 999, you could start at point negative point 0.5, and that'll slow it down a little bit. You know, or you could go even slower and start at zero, back at frame zero. So, 
anyway, so that's my quick video of just how to make a conveyor belt in uh, iClone 8. Because now, I don't, we couldn't do this in iClone 7, so this is really cool. You can animate stuff. So um, I just made a video like this for Omniverse for water. It's basically the same thing. The texture stays in the same place, but as you rotate the texture. So that was my short video. If you want the links to deposit photo, I'll put it in the video description. You can... You know, I don't get paid for this, but if you need a lot of textures, I buy a hundred and you get a year to use them, so it's not a bad deal. You know, you can also get a subscription, but that's a ripoff. I don't like to be trapped into stuff, but anyway, all right, well, have a great day.